guys the cost of things in the market now is outrageous talk about buying two fingers of plantain for one thousand oh poor hey chuck um so um three months now on this weight loss journey and i'm 10 kgs down i think i'm going to keep singing this even though even though my target after three months was about 15 kgs but i mean I look good, I know I do. Nothing fits in, everything is so big and baggy. When I'm walking, this thing keeps flapping and flapping, but it is what it is. You know, they say there's always a, a weight plateau, and I think I was at that point for quite a while. Because for three weeks, I I didn't go quite up the wagon, bandwagon, but you know, I wasn't doing as much workout as I was supposed to. I wasn't strictly following my diet and all that, but it is what it is. I want to believe we're back on track. Yeah, so um, talking about weight loss and um, workout and exercising, you know, it takes a certain level of discipline to be able to stay dedicated, to stick to this thing because, I mean, I am punishing my body even though i gained this weight from pregnancy but i know that you know i need to get healthy for health reasons for personal and physical reasons and also for spiritual reasons because come on my body is a temple of the holy ghost and i gotta keep it banging and beautiful but you know it reminds me of how god wants us to come before him so many of us have excuses of why we don't want to stay active, of why we don't want to keep this lifestyle. Oh, I'm so busy. Oh, you guys, you don't want to know how chaotic it is handling a toddler and uh, an infant. Two under three. My toddler will be three in a few months, but it gets quite chaotic because there's so much going on in the background and it reminds me of luke 10 38 to 42 you know after jesus and his, his disciples had visited you know when jesus and his disciples had visited after lazarus's death and um mary rushes just to the feet of christ and you know she's just there relaxing chilling loving up on god but martha is disturbed because like lord we have so many people here there's so much food to do this, to do this, to do that. But Mary is just out of it, doing nothing. And then Jesus told her that what Mary was doing actually had more benefits than what she was doing. Not that what she was doing wasn't important. Your reasons are valid. Your reasons for not being able to show up are valid. However, there is a place for adjustment not just talking about weight loss or getting fit but you know different things that you ought to be doing maybe something that god has told you to do he has put in his mind maybe a target you want to hit maybe a business you want to start just something in your life because the way human beings are wired we are always reaching for something else and that's okay it's okay to be ambitious but make time for it you make time for what matters to you. It's that simple. Sometimes things might matter to you, but the lack of discipline makes it absolutely challenging, if not impossible, to get it done. For the joy of the Lord is our strength, and the help of the Holy Spirit is our advantage. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Because the grace of Christ abides in me. It abounds in me. I mean... She, God is, because, you know, God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. A possibility doesn't exist. Challenges will come, absolutely, definitely. But make that move. Start that thing, do that thing. Don't let it keep you. Don't let your current circumstance keep you. Don't let the situation keep you. Don't let what your eyes see, what is, keep you. After all, we say that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That means that we call for things that be not as though they exist. And that is what faith is. Action. It's not faith if you're not acting on it. 
one expression of faith is excellence try hard and strive to show up at all times yes it's okay to be ambitious as a christian god bless you